excited. I mean, that was um, the if, if a coach could draw up a game uh, and end up winning at the end, that, that was it. The ebbs and flows of it, um, different strategies throughout the course of the game, our, our team showing resolve, staying together, enjoying, you know, being in the moment. Um, just continue to learn about our group, and, and at the end of the day, we played hard, Megan, and it, we, we kept it simple as that. I know last time you got excited about over, having over 30 assists. What can you say about tonight's and the balls with it that they just played tonight? It, it was awesome to see. So you take, for example, where Yuta didn't have the best first half, but uh, his team you know, still trusted him, and the ball found him, and he was in the right place, and, and the, the ball has energy, and uh, it finds you when you're doing good things. And um, he was a prime example of sticking with it and, and coming through in the second half. Two questions. When you consider the way you guys did not respond in Sacramento, is there, an, is there kind of an added benefit in showing the stick to that you did tonight rather than even if you had an easy win, one by 12? Without a doubt, Brian. This game right here, to be able to... We didn't do everything perfect at the end of the game. Uh, and so for us to still stay together, didn't panic, uh, and come through on the other side, uh, that, that's huge. A group grows that way, and uh, they continue to gain trust and understand each other. And uh, different combinations out there on the floor tonight. Um, that, 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 like I said, if there's a prototypical kind of win with all the scenarios surrounding a little bit, this is it. There were obviously a number of players that had certain things that stood out. You know, obviously, you had a triple double, and you had his 20. But big picture, when you see Ben starting to play the way he's playing. And how encouraging is that? Yeah, it's very encouraging. Uh, most minutes he's played, um, really responded well. Had a few combinations with Nick, without Nick, pushing the basketball as a screener. So uh, kind of what we envision him doing everything for us, uh, the defensive versatility of guarding Nurk Nurkic and also Damian Lillard. So a lot of people can't do that. And uh, if we can continue to... Um, you know, grow with him and understand him, his game, how he benefits, with who. It's uh, it's very encouraging. John, do you think he's earned a place back in the starting lineup? I, I think overall, I'm honest with him every day, Nick. Uh, I went to him before shoot around the other day and said I'm staying with the same lineup. The consistency and stability that we have right now, we're searching for it. We're going to keep that. Um, like I told you, my message to him was to play hard. Uh, tonight he played hard, and so uh, that's evidence. That's uh, more confidence from his teammates and coaches, um, and he understands that. What do you think is unlocked? Just feeling good, you know, your, your, your body has to feel good. And, uh, you know, he set out the Laker game because his knee wasn't feeling right. And um, uh, really give him credit for doing the exercises, doing the treatment to be able to play the next two games. So definitely credit to him for doing that. And now the consistency part continues. And, uh, but a big part of it is just feeling good. How much was 